Hello, this is me, and I'm playing Tomb Raider Chronicles on the PC. This is Submarine Part 2. Okay, so we're going into here. I got the wrong gun, hang on a minute. Okay, there's a guy in here, and we have to shoot him. Okay, there's nothing in this room that we can pick up. It's just empty shelves and drawers. There's just like a hidden way to get into this next bit. So you just jump up on the edge of this block, and I'll we'll just open it like that. I didn't know anything about that until I read the guide. Okay, and then we go to this section here. There's three of these great things. There's one. And then there's number two. And on the third one, you can go up into this se section where there's a secret. Again, I didn't know anything about this. So I read the guide. I think I've got a flare. Have I still got a flare? And we're on the search for this final battery, which is the one that I missed in my initial practice and everything. Okay. This last section is a little bit confusing, I'm thinking, you know, uh, it's very difficult, but... Again, not massively difficult, just a bit annoying. Right, we come into here, we go on the floor, a man will come in, and we've just got to shoot him. There he is. These shelves don't hold anything, so... There's the second battery. Okay. So we come out, now wherever we come out, this, this all looks the same. We go back... Up here. There's the canteen area, there's the other storeroom where we just originally went in. Now... Providing I've gone the right way, I'm not sure. Oh, we came through there, didn't we? We came out of here. So we have to go down down a ladder, that was it. I'm always confused by this section, it's very annoying. There we are, there's a ladder thing here. I don't really like this bit, it's very irritating. There's a door here. Okay, so come around this corner. If you try and open the door on the left side, a guy jumps out and he'll shoot you while you're trying to open it, so best to get rid of him. Okay, I think this is the missile room. This leads to the diving area. Actually, there's a room with a, oh, with a pickup. So that guy won't move until I walk into the room, so he needs a trigger, so I'll go around here. Yes, this is the dormitory. Has has back up there? Yeah, that guy won't move until we go into the room. It looks like where we started, but it's a different room. Okay, shouldn't have moved. There he is, he's still there. We just shoot him. Do we that? Didn't drop anything. This is the uh, diving area where the submersible swimsuit thing is. So. Coming to here. Very wary of people jumping out on me. Okay, these rooms all look exactly the same. It's very easy to get lost. Which I sometimes keep doing, even though it's not actually that it's not that bad, but I keep having blank moments thinking, what am I doing? I can't pull on that. Come on, Lara, bloody gun gone. Come on, you stupid little pig guy. Let me be console. We're coming here to get that. Each one of these in the rooms has got glass over the um thing, so you can't actually um get to the suit. There's another bloke there. It's so annoying. Right. Now we're getting into this section here. This is the room where we've got the actual suit that we're going to get into. Which leads us to the next section of the level. Okay. So what we do is we go to this thing. We need to combine the console. Oh, damn it. With 
the air thing, the aqua lung canister. Now, of course, we need batteries, so we need to get the battery. Where's the battery there? We need to combine that with the other one, and then use it, and it puts it into the machine. Time to turn the tables. And outside is like two main sections. One has got the uh, secret in it, and then we need to go round into the other section to get the underground wreck where the artifact is. Now you can shoot chaff out the back of this thing, but I find the things, the uh, missile things are quite slow. And generally speaking, if you're fairly quick with it, you don't really need to use the chaff. I think it's the same as the flare button, I think. Very annoying. It's doable. I found it relatively doable. Once I knew from the guide what I had to do, it was pretty straightforward. Hello, dear. Uh, Stretch and strain with this bloody thing. We can get on with the next section. Are we there? Okay, when this uh, diving section, there is no limits on your oxygen until you get the actual artifact so swim forward and we go straight forward and we need to go onto the right and there's two main areas one has the secret and the other has the artifact in it with the underground wreck so we can just avoid this stupid thing here go into the corner and avoid getting blasted by this thing it's a hole and we get the thing here there's the secret now the submersible isn't too much of a problem if you just don't stand around. If you don't stand around, you're not going to get too much hassle from that. So go back to where the submarine is, use that as a bit of a guide. Oops, there's a little bit of resistance, it's like quite slow. The current there. Keep going, and we go down, keep going this way, and we go generally sort of right. This is a large area, there's another submersible here. And a ridge in the middle survives the room. Go to the corner. That thing is shooting at me, but it's not really ever much to look. There we are. Go down this passageway. And we go down to this hole in the ground. Down, down, down. And we need to just get clear, because that thing can shoot myself down the hole there. But you're fairly safe once you're inside. Again, there's no um, time limit on the air until you actually pick up the artifact after the cutscene. It's not too bad. It's a little bit annoying. There we go, there's a good thing. As if it'd be in a box, just like that. Be in the ten tons of silt, metal, now, in a box, in a little room, all nice and easy, in a little wooden box. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, it was like I put one out, didn't it? Oh dear. Okay, I find getting out is easier than coming in, so we need to just aim for that little square at the top there. Keep going in a straight line. Go down. Then we go up. Up, 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 and try and get lower to go through it, because sometimes she falls underneath the actual edge of the um, opening there. Aim for the submarine, mine the submersible. Oof, can I just get this as a clean sheet? I don't want to be hit by that thing at all. Keep going, it's right on, and there's this fast current, and it pushes lower fairly quick around this corner. Keep going around this corner again, and then... It's a little bit tight, but there's the submarine, and the opening should be straight ahead, there it is. And there we are, that's it. So I'll be back in the next section. Oh, 
visitor. I fear you have an item in your possession that I require. To be used in your continuing quest for world peace, I presume. World peace, not entirely my purpose in pursuing this artifact. This artifact contains untold power. Power of which the likes of you will never harness. If you wish it, you may have it. But you will regret it. The world may regret it. Hand it to me and I may spare you. On your head be it. Take her to the torpedo room and eject her into the ocean. Sergei, listen to me. You don't know what you're dealing with. 